It wasn't me who decided to shift from face-to-face -face lectures to, to videos. It was actually the students, really. Because even though well, I think I'm an exciting and interesting presenter, um, I wasn't exciting and interesting enough to get students out of bed in the morning to come along to the lecture theatre. Lecture theatre attendance was dropping like like a stone. It was pointless. You know, we're getting one third of the uh, of the enrolment was was turning up. I was getting a lot of queries uh, at the end of the week and of course at the end of the semester asking me questions that I had answered in lectures that students weren't going to. I mean, we've got big classes. I've got 120, 150, 200 students uh, in the class. You can't make it really interactive. You can ask questions of one or two people, but you, uh, you can't make it as, as interactive as you can with a small class. I can record the video when it's convenient for me, just as students can watch it when it's convenient for them. So if I've got a conference to go to, or meetings, or something else on, or a paper to finish, I can concentrate on that and not be constrained by a particular time booking in a lecture theatre. The classes are now fully 100% interactive. They're engaging not just with the stuff that we're teaching them, but what it actually means for them. There's a glorious diversity of students uh, in the class, diversity of background, uh, diversity of, uh, of culture, uh, ethnicity and, uh, and so on. And the implications for one person are going to be different to the implications for another. And so they can apply those learnings and, and get greater understanding of the other cultures, which may well be their future customers, since this is a marketing uh, class. Uh, they, they get a much deeper understanding of each other's cultures, of each other's backgrounds, and just other people's way of thinking by engaging with each other in considering the implications of the stuff that I'm trying to teach them. The tutorials now have assessment pieces every week. Students can use the, the Moodle discussion group to follow up on class discussions if there's stuff that they're particularly excited about, things they disagree with, ideally. I love it when they argue amongst themselves and particularly often later on in the semester when they're brave enough to, uh, to argue with me and the, and the other teaching staff. That's just brilliant when, when they can do that. And there's, uh, you know, there's debates raging um, uh, at the moment on the, uh, on the Moodle discussion group uh, about some mistakes that have been made by professionals out there and how those mistakes should have been avoided. It's absolutely exemplary stuff. And I think that comes, that, that's an effect of having the interactive tutes, which is enabled by recording the lectures beforehand. As far as setup time is concerned, non existent. I mean, seriously, because you, uh, if you're going to be giving this stuff in a lecture, in a lecture theatre, it's exactly the same amount of prep and setup time. In fact, possibly even less, because no lecture only lasts seven or ten minutes. You only actually need to have seven or ten minutes worth of content up there in your head at any one time. 